gorgeous day here in the Pacific Northwest. The guys are again trying to get them off the field and uh, the two days we've had were okay. It's been a short turnaround but that's, sometimes that's okay. Tomorrow you have the return of uh, former player of the year, Freddie Montero, comes back to Seattle for the first time. What kind of uh, welcome or reception are you expecting uh, from the crowd for him? Well, I'm sure the fans will uh, give him the respect he's earned. Um, and then when the game starts, I expect them to boo him readily if he scores on us. Uh, on a serious note, look, Freddie's done a lot of good things for this club, and I certainly have you know, a lot of respect for him. Uh, I enjoyed my time with Freddie. I thought we had a good connection. And uh, we wish him always the best, except for games like tomorrow. He's still a threat offensively. He's had some success yeah. this year. How do you slow him down tomorrow? You need to you need to get one, two, three guys on him sometimes. You know he's very uh, crafty. You know when he was with us, he was young and he did stuff and he tried stuff and you know I think he's matured. I think his soccer is much better. His soccer IQ is very high. So it, it'll take a team effort. I mean they're playing uh, very well, so it'll take a team effort. Given your past experiences in the playoffs, how important is it? in terms of positioning with seeds. How much of a boost is it to get one of those top two seeds to get a buyer? Would you maybe even rather play in the first round to get your rhythm going? What sort of your take on that? I think, uh, Matt, it's a, it's a mixed bag. I think the league is, is, is such that, you know, in a two game series, is there a real clear home field advantage? Eh, I'm not so sure. I mean, if you, you know, take the Dallas game. So we played at home, Dallas series last year, we won three. Uh, you know, it was easier for us to close out. Now, if that game is only two, you know, or one, you know, maybe the, maybe the circumstances change. But, you know, I, I just think the league's too full of parity to, in a two game series, worry about the home games. Now, if you're asking me about the knockout game, now that's a different story. I think their home field advantage is is okay you're playing right away which kind of keeps you in maybe some form of rhythm depending on whether you get you know two days or three days off um, but having that game at home is key how crucial is tomorrow night for positioning then not just with the knockout rounds but also looking maybe at the buys a little bit well we are just trying to get out of this little rut we find ourselves in so winning the game uh, you can ask me that afterwards after we see where we're at in the standings, um, this th these are these are important. These are critical last four games. Uh, speaking of that, Rudd, how, how do you make changes without being hurt by maybe being too creative and changing too many of those pieces on the field? Well, we've got personnel choices. You know, those are always. You know, each player plays at position a little differently so I'll uh, take Joven and Victor so when I play Joven at left mid he plays it a certain way and then when I put Victor on there he plays that same position with a little bit different flair and a little bit personality so uh, we'll certainly look at everything and look at matchups against uh, Vancouver and we'll go from there. Are you at the point of the year where you still feel comfortable in making those kind of line of changes or would you rather sort of have your first 11 that you want to have develop a rhythm going into the playoffs? We would certainly rather have a, a set 11. Uh, this current streak, you know, of not winning has, has forced us into looking at different possibilities. So, you know, I definitely prefer having a you know, a routine for the last four four games. Do you have any more time, do you think, to maybe tinker with that now, or is it kind of a breaking well, point? Four, well, four games is okay, but if you get to two or one, then you're, then you're, it's a little more challenging. Yeah. Coach, you've already had two games against Vancouver this year. What have you learned from those games uh, in preparation for it? You just don't get burned on the counterattack. I think if you looked at both of the games from a statistical basis, you know, those were all in our favor, but the scoreline was in their favor. So, you know, the last game up there, again, Freddie scored a good goal to draw even. Uh, probably should have closed that one out. Previous one up there, you know, two quality balls, you know, he made us pay. So it goes back to your question about how do we stop Freddie.
think around this time last year, you guys actually officially knocked out Vancouver up there and sort of eliminated them from playoff contention. And now they come back as the top team in the West. What's so different about this team this year versus where they were at a year ago? Well, they've had some some roster changes, some overhaul. They brought in some new players, fresh blood that I think has helped them. Um, and look, I think they've always been a competitive team. I just think they're right now they're playing very, very well. And it's, you know, it's the same thing. I mean, Portland in 15, us in 16. Now they're having a little bit of run in 17. I mean, their form is very good. Do you see a similarity in, in where their trajectory is going to where you guys were at God, at this I, point last year? Well, I hope not. <laughs> I mean, they're still the enemy, but, you know, Robert, Carl's done a good job. So credit the Whitecaps organization. And uh, tomorrow will be a big test for us. And then we'll see what happens in the playoffs. Aside from Freddie, who was another player or two that you need to contain tomorrow? All, of them. all of them. Yordi, Johnny, the center backs coming up on set pieces. Uh, Jordan Harvey, who played for this club in the USL days, has had a you know a, a very good career. And there's a lot of guys that they can hurt you with. 